Hello amazing people, I welcome you all once again into this amazing world of learning. We are studying verbal reasoning and the next topic that we are going to cover is odd one out. Now what is this odd one out? In odd one out which is also known as classification, a group or a set of items is given to us and all the items or all the elements except one are similar to each other. Now we as students have to find out that odd one which basically is the element which is not following the common property that the rest of the other elements are following. If we take an example of this heading only odd one out. Now I have circled this out. This is the odd one for me. Why am I saying it? It is the odd one because if we take a look at this odd all the alphabets are capital. If we take a look at one again all the alphabets are capital but in out all the alphabets are small so if we take a look at these three items out of these this out is the odd one so in the same way we have to pick the odd one out that means we have to choose the element which is not following the common property that the rest of the other elements are following for example we have a group of four letters with us, four words with us rather. Rice, chapati, socks, bread. These are four words. Rice, chapati, socks and bread. Now out of this, if we see rice, chapati and bread, these are the items that we eat. Right. But if we talk about socks, well, we don't eat socks. We rather wear them. So this socks is the odd one out. In the similar way, we have to find the odd one out, out of the given group of elements or given group of items. If we take a look at this example, here we have blue, shirt, red, pink. If we talk about blue, red and pink, these are colors. But if we talk about shirt, it is something that we wear. And hence, this is the one that is not following the common property. What is the common property here? It is color. If we talk about blue, red, pink, they are all colors. So shirt is the odd one out again here, right? This is also known as classification and the problems based on this odd one out of classification aim to identify or test the student's ability to classify things in groups based upon the common property that the elements of the group follows, right? Now problems are based on four types. First one is word classification, then we have number classification, then we have letter classification and then there is mixed classification. So we are going to discuss them one by one now. Let us start with word classification. In word classification, we are given a set or a group of words out of which we have to identify the odd one out. That means we have to pick a word that is not following the property that the rest of the other elements of that group are fallen. If we take an example, here we have turnip, kiwi, orange date. These are four words. So that is the reason it falls into the category of word classification. Turnip, kiwi, orange date. If we take a look at kiwi, orange and date, they are all fruits. This date is not that time thing date, but this is the fruit one. So kiwi, orange and date, they are all fruits. But if we talk about turnip, what is a turnip? It is a type of vegetable or it is a vegetable. So this certainly is the odd one out. So this would be the answer to the problem. The answer would simply be that element which is the odd one. Now if we take a look at another example, we have year, day, calendar, month. Now year, day, and month these are all part of a calendar in a calendar we see year we see day we see month right so these three are common what is their common property that they are all a part of calendar so obviously the fourth word that is the calendar is the odd one out for us right in the similar way we have number classification in number classification we have a group of numbers out of which we have to pick the odd one out Here's the example 21, 15, 7 and 9. These are four numbers given to us and this together forms a group of 
four numbers 21, 15, 7 and 9. Hence, it falls into the category of number classification. Now, if we take a look at 21, 15, 7 and 9. Out of these, this 21 is divisible by 3. I can say 7 multiplied by 3 gives me 21. 5 multiplied by 3 gives 15. 3 multiplied by 3 gives 9. But there is no number in which I can multiply 3 to get 7. Or simply 7 is not divisible by 3. The rest the 21, 15 and 9. These are the numbers that are divisible by 3. Hence 7 is the odd one out for us. As it is not following the common property. Here the common property is being divisible by 3. Three. Now we have another example. Here we have 16, 144, 256, and 125. These are again four numbers. We have to pick the odd one out. If we take a look at this 16, this is 4 multiplied by 4. Yes, 4 4s are 16. Then this 144 is 12 multiplied by 12. 256 is 16 multiplied by 16. And 125 is 25 into 5 or I can also write it as 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. Now if we take a look at these three numbers 16, 144 and 256 they are obtained by multiplying a number 2 times. If we multiply 4 2 times we get 16. If we multiply 12 2 times we get 144. If we multiply 16 2 times we get 256. But there is no number which when multiplied 2 times gives me 125. Rather we get it by multiplying 5 3 times. In short I can say 16 is square of 4, 12 is square of 144 and 256 is square of 16. So these 3 are perfect squares but 125 is not. Hence this 125 is the odd one out for us. The third type is letter classification. Now in this letter classification we have a group of letters or a set of group of letters. That means if I talk about two letters A and B, they are just letters. So A and B together forms a set of letters. But when I talk about A, B, C, D, E, F, these are Group of letters forming one set of letters. So A, B, C together forms one element. So it is a group of letters. And when we have a single alphabet that is just a letter for us. So here we have either a set of letters or a set of group of letters. As we have been given this example A, B, 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 D, D, C, C, C. Now we have to pick the odd one out. If we take a look at A. Its position in English alphabet, if we start from A, would be 1. So it is written just one time. If we talk about B, it comes at the second place. A, B. So it is written two times. If we talk about C, it comes at the third position from A. A, B, C. So it is written three times. But if we talk about D, it comes at the fourth position. So it should be written four times if we follow the same property. But it is not. Hence, this would be the odd one out for us. Then we have another example. We have group of letters E, J, L, X, H, P, K, W. Now, if we talk about E, it comes at fifth position. Here, I have written all the alphabets from A to Z. And on top of all the alphabets, you will find their position in the correct alphabetical order. The correct order is that is starting from A and ending on Z. So 1, 2, 3, 4 up until Z that is 26. So if we talk about E, it is at 5th position. If we talk about J, it is at 10th position. So its position is 5, its position is 10. If we talk about L, it comes at 12th position. And if we talk about X, it comes at 24th position. So this is 12, this is 24. Then if we talk about H, it is 8. If we talk about P, that is 16. So we have 8 and 16 here. And if we talk about K and W, they are at position 
11 and 23 respectively. This is 11, this is 23. Now, if we take a look at these numbers 5 and 10, if I multiply this 5 by 2, we get 10, that is J. If I multiply this 12 by 2, we get 24, that is X. If I multiply this 8 with 2, we get 16, that is P. But if I multiply this 11 with 2, that is 22, I must get V here instead of W. So this KW is the one that is not following the property. The property is if I multiply the position of the first letter with 2, I will get the position of the second letter. So this is the odd one out for us. Then we have fourth one that is the mixed classification. In this we have a combination of letter and numbers. So we have example 2C2 that is a combination of a letter and a number. So that is why it is called as mixed classification. Now here we have the example 2C2, 3F2, 5O3 and 7G1. Now if we take a look at these numbers 2 and 2, if I multiply 2 and 2, I will get 4. If I multiply 3 and 2, I will get 6. If I multiply 5 and 3, I will get 15. And if I multiply 7 and 1, I will get 7. Now, if we take a look at 6, that is the position of F in the correct alphabetical order. If we talk about 15, this is the position of O in the correct alphabetical order. If we talk about 7, that is the position of G in the correct alphabetical order. But 4 is not the position of C in the alphabetical order, it is D. So, this 2C2 is the odd one out for us. Now, let's take a look at another example. We have Y2, M14, S6, C24. There is a number after the letter. Now, if we talk about the reverse alphabetical order, that means I will start from Z and go up until A. So, if I mark Z as 1 and from there I come to A that is mark 26 that is called the reverse alphabetical order. Now if it, I take a look at this Y it is second it is at the second position in the reverse alphabetical order that means this. So Y is at second if we take a look at this 14 we are talking about reverse so we have to see the number that is written below the alphabet. So 14 is the position of M in the reverse order. If we talk about S, its position is 8 and not 6. And if we talk about 24, its position at 24th position we have C. So this S6 is the odd one out for us because it is not following the property. The property here is that the number written after the letter is its position in the reverse alphabetical order. So by writing the correct and the reverse alphabetical order, it helps us in solving these kind of problems based on letter classification and mixed classification.